How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be playing my very first qualifying game for the MLB The Show 21 Summer Circuit brought to us by Battlefy and MLB The Show 21 developers Sony San Diego Studios. This is the squad that we are rocking with. We're going to get right into the gameplay. We'll play our first game and actually round two is currently going on right now and I'll explain why I'm not playing in that one as I'm making this video but uh, this squad is the best possible squad that I could come up with, a mix of players that I have paralleled up to a certain point to fit the tournament rules. I'll go ahead and post the tournament rules for the team build in the comment section down below, so if you're not quite familiar with the setting, that will be pinned in the comment section down below. But the reason why I'm using Trent Grisham in center field is predominantly for his defense. I am using Shohei Otani on the mound, at least for the majority of my qualifying games. You are allowed two 99 overall pitchers, so I am going to be using predominantly Shohei and Al Leiter. I felt like because my lefties aren't necessarily that great out of the bullpen and I only have two, then Al Leiter would be a go-to pitcher for me with a little bit increased stamina. We're playing three inning games as well, so you have to keep that in mind. I have Charlie Morton in there as a, a spot starter, as a potential reliever, um, he also has the meta pitches in this game. So kind of just explaining why I've selected these players. Devin Williams has a cutter screwball. We have Rob Dibble with outlier and a cutter. We have Raldis Chapman with outlier and a splitter sinker combination. We have Shane Green with the sinker slider cutter combination. We also have uh, Jake Diekman with a, a sinker slider with no control, but I also like using that card. Uh, Jury's Familia with an outlier sinker, Alex Reyes with an outlier sinker, and Mariano Rivera with a sinker cutter combination. I think that this is really the best team that I could use. I also have Brent Honeywell and Julio Urias there just in case. I don't plan on using those cards at all unless I were to go into extra innings and those were my last available options. But this first opponent that I matched up with only has two games of ranked seasons played. He has a 156 batting average and probably has never played a game on Legend. So this is a good matchup. This is a great way to warm up and I cannot overthink this opponent. He also has an illegal team, right? This opponent does have an illegal team in this tournament. He did not necessarily look at the rules. He has way too many 95 overall players available. Um, but we're going to go ahead and hop right into it anyway. And to be completely honest with you, I did not even recognize that this opponent had an illegal team until afterward when I'm looking at the game footage because the PS5 loading screens are so fast, I didn't even look at a squad. I wasn't necessarily concerned about it. I was also trying to make sure that I was focused, locked in, ready to go. Uh, I was preparing myself mentally because this is a competitive setting. Even though this opponent only has one game or two games of ranked seasons played, he could be, you know, playing a lot of friendlies on Legend. He could be playing Battle Royale. I, I don't necessarily know. The batting average and the way this opponent had an approach at the plate, uh, these first few at-bats kind of let me know that that's probably not the case. Um, but we're going to try and expand the zone, right? That is the main thing we're going to try and focus on is expanding the zone. He's got to be patient. He's got to be selective. We have uh, a 0-0 zero -zero ball game, and I felt like that first inning was a good way to warm up. I wasn't expecting to face Spencer Turnbull in this tournament, but we do have a brand new addition, Jaron Duran in the lineup. Great speed, great contact, decent power, brand new addition as a tops now player and we're also taking an extra base like i'm i'm looking to be aggressive almost a little bit too aggressive potentially at times here we're trying to go first to third with ronnie mauricio and i don't even know who's in right field i think he has otani and he absolutely gunned him down actually i think that was joey gallo out there in right field i think he has otani in left yeah that's otani running out there uh right now he has mickey mantle in center trent grisham though this card is really good i like his swing he has a 42 diamond but i felt like i was getting more value from the gold honestly though um in a typical game i'm probably gonna pinch hit for him like that's why he's out there is just for defense just for the speed to take away a base hit i don't know where uh these opponents are going to be playing their home games right if i'm the away team uh, but Shohei Otani clutches up. I left him in. I wanted to leave him in specifically for this reason. He adds a lot of value to the team as a hitter. And he goes deep for a two-run shot. We can definitely tell that this game is on legend, right? You might not have thought because of how big the PCI was that this game is on legend. But facing Craig Kimbrell with Mike Trout, we can definitely tell that this is not Hall of Fame. I also just struck out looking by watching 
that fastball. I thought I honestly had one strike. Uh, but little things like that, that tends to happen a little bit more while I'm live streaming, right? I forget to warm people up in the bullpen. I don't necessarily, um, you know, take a mound visit at the right time. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm more forgetful with those types of things as I'm streaming. So that's why I wanted to really try and lock in and mainly focus on uploading the content from this tournament to the YouTube channel. And uh, just to give you an idea, right, we are up 5 nothing here. I'm still looking to take the extra base. Jorge Posada is running into second. I have given away a potential out already. Here I'm trying to score. I know he has Mickey Mantle in center. I'm trying to score with 28 speed. I'm also trying to test some of these players out in, in what they can do. I haven't used Jorge Posada in a while. He is a little bit slower. I have to get used to some of these brand new players that I am using. Right, like I don't use all these guys on my rank squad. I just decided to enter in this tournament uh, an hour before it actually started. I'm hoping um, that I can qualify for the tournament or the finals and then play on August 28th and August 29th. That's kind of uh, my strategy. But I'm going to go ahead and hop into some ranked seasons because my next opponent was also an Xbox player, but he basically forfeited the round. He did not ready up. He did not match up with me. I typed a, a message in the chat asking him what his gamer tag is, and he just never showed up. So we're going to go ahead and finish off this video with a game of Ranked Seasons here. I was able to uh, play one off stream the other day. Uh, I had a rainstorm happening around my house, and a lightning, electrical storm, thunderstorm, and I didn't really want to risk playing with my PlayStation 5 that I just recently got, and then the power go out and something happens to where um, I break it. So with that being said, I wanted to play it, of course. I wanted to play this game. But I felt like it wasn't as safe, and I just purchased it. So uh, I did hop into one quick game here of Ranked Seasons. We were able to get the timing down a little bit more. I know we started off with the game of Legend, but this is actually Hall of Fame, and I'm starting to get more acclimated to this PlayStation 5 and how it feels and uh, just the controller differences and everything. And I really like it. I'm having a ton of fun. I'm going to try my best in this tournament. I'm going to try to... Uh, qualify and potentially you know um, play some really good players that's really what I'm looking forward to as well um, but all in all I'm gonna try and have fun I'm gonna you know make the most out of it and already I know that it is taking a little bit of time for these games to be played but I like the way this is set up I, I like this company Battlefy they seem to know exactly what to do their communication skills are amazing they're active with their admins in the chat everything is working pretty well for the most part and i'm having a great time shout out to them uh, i think that this is uh, well ran so far and i'm really looking forward to the rest of it peace out